10 or 20 years ago, very few vehicles could go decisively over 100,000 miles. 200,000 was pretty much off the charts. But did you know that thanks to great fueling, better technology, and an attention to detail and pride in construction, there are still a bunch of SUVs that can last over 300,000 miles today, yes. So today I'm gonna summarize that for you and share that list of 10 amazing SUVs that are going to last 300,000 miles. Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. So the first SUV on our list that's going to last 300,000 miles all day long, no matter what you do is... <laughs> yeah, no, not that one. That one you'll be lucky to make it to 60,000 is probably gonna burn down roadside. It's actually this beauty right here. And yes, it's a Toyota. And that should not be a big surprise to each and every one of you. Obviously, it's an older version. It still has the older incandescent style headlights. It's a beautiful vehicle, very simple, very basic and very long lasting. Yeah, this one's got aftermarket wheels and big tough mirrors like this that last a long time and massive roof rack that's good to go. And look at this, solid handles at last, big stepping racks, big tires that are good to roll slowly down the road. Of course, you do have a big sturdy light there and this is the iForce V8 because it has the 5.7 liter V8. Yes, it has towing capabilities, it has a lot of space to haul all your junk in the trunk, and it has a lot of great technology buried inside. Buttons are large, knobs are humongous, and the leather is sturdy. And the beautiful Toyota Sequoia is known for everybody across the industry. No one can touch this in terms of durability, reliability with that slow churning 5.7 liter V8 makes a ton of torque and actually rolls down the road gracefully. It's the same engine that they share in the old school outgoing Tundra, and that's why it was a when actually they changed up to the new twin turbo v6 because everybody knew Toyota had it nailed with this engine and the Toyota Sequoia is one of those rare beasts that will last as long as a Sequoia tree at least 300,000 miles and the next SUV that'll literally last forever is uh... <laughs> not a chance it's actually this vehicle right here we have, actually this is a slightly older version of this Lexus SUV. You'll notice the big mouth grill. You'll also notice that it has these great LED headlights and this great stylish looking chin. It's very aggressive and yeah, it does have laser cut rims and LC500 type mirrors. Look, glass roof on top. And I love this beautiful chrome along the top here. How about that back slope looks very sharp and a very, gorgeous finish here. Now this vehicle is a unibody, but the fact remains it's a Lexus and it is built for many, many, many miles because this one's the RX 350, which clearly is that infamous 300 horsepower, naturally aspirated three and a half liter V6 that Toyota and Lexus are known for and they put in every vehicle as an upscale engine configuration. It's unstoppable. That engine is good for three or four or 500,000 miles all day. Now, the only thing with some of these, take care of the underside corrosion, that vehicle will literally go forever. But there's a difference. If you look at the latest generation right over here, the RX model, the latest RX 350 now has a turbo 2.4 liter four cylinder and time will tell on how reliable that is if that one will also go the pace, but definitely the older generation with the three and a half liter V6 will go all the way because it's just that good. Okay, you ready for another one? How about, oh geez, I keep screwing this up. It's not a Jeep. Jeeps are good for maybe 50,000, 60,000 miles and then they just go to town on failure mode. It's actually this little rig right over here. We have another Lexus. Why keep Lexus showing up on this list? Obviously the big mouth grill, it has that big jut out at the bottom and beautiful lighting and beautiful lighting up there. Look at this gorgeous metallic paint. Yeah, big beefy mirrors like that. Love this gunmetal gray type wheels and a stepping boards because it is a bigger vehicle. This does feel like a full-size pickup truck almost. Now you'll notice it has the big roof racks on top and how about the interior? Big buttons, small knobs, good leather, and lots of fit and finish that will just literally last forever. Look at this, beefy handles all the way around. You have this beautiful tail light rig and we're looking at the GX460 by Lexus, which basically also is a Land Cruiser Prado, yeah, which is known for its 4x4 off-road prowess. When you go down here, this vehicle has the road clearance 
and the performance off-road to get it done. It may look like a fancy luxury wagon, but don't let that beautiful tuxedo fool you. That 4.6 liter V8 making 300 horsepower has way more than enough jam to get it done. All-wheel drive, 4x4 systems, obviously in par with the Land Cruiser, which is legendary for its off-roading capability. Luxury, performance, that stout V8 engine that will just chug along and last forever. Not to mention because it's on a steel I-beam type frame suspension, it's not a unibody, it's going to be durable. You can bang it on rough roads, off-roading, and it's just gonna truck along because it's built on a sturdy platform. This SUV, clearly another one by Lexus. Toyota brand, you know when you're buying a Toyota or Lexus product, you're getting something that's durable. Well, what we actually have here is the big brother or the other brother of another mother from the actual Toyota Land Cruiser, the original Land Cruiser. What we have here is a Lexus, and this specifically is the LX600. Although it's this trend of these fake exhaust tips are getting a little bit nauseating, but you can tow some equipment with this. You do have these beautiful light bar across the back. And I like that new script for Lexus. That's fresh and feisty. Look at the detail on there and laser cut wheels there. And absolutely look at this new redesign on the handles. Absolutely gorgeous in there. And look, roof rack. And yeah, lots of sun coming in through the top. The interior is so fresh and nice that you actually now have a 12.3 inch center infotainment screen and an eight inch cluster screen. Lots of tech, lots of electronics in this vehicle. It does come though with a 3.4 liter twin turbo V6, makes about 409 horsepower. And yeah, forget about the slush box because you get a 10 speed automatic transmission, meaning it's going to last a long time. It's gonna shift nicely but it's this huge frame that you're finding here on this unit that's on a basically steel I-beam frame and it's just gonna truck along like a full-size truck like that, but instead you're gonna do it with luxury and reliability immersed and embedded in that vehicle. So it's going to tackle the rough roads. It's meant for off-roading. That's where the Land Cruiser comes from and where it was legendary from. So it's got great technology, great performance. The jury's out yet on these new turbo engines for Lexus, whether it's the 2.4 or whether it's the 3.4. We will see, time will tell, but this vehicle almost sure as fire make it over. 300,000 miles. Another SUV guaranteed to pretty much last at least 300,000 miles is that... <laughs> no, no, not quite. Actually, I messed up. Here it is again. I must be losing it, but what we have here is clearly a Honda. Obviously the reliability king next to Toyota and Lexus. These guys have been knowing how to build a car for quite some time and yeah, you got some great details there. And of course, we do know that this is a full-size SUV. It does have third row seating. It does have primarily front wheel drive with all wheel drive optional. It does also have something that allows this thing to go on and on and on. And that's a three and a half liter V6 under the hood, makes about 285 horsepower. Strap that to a 10 speed automatic transmission. No CVT here, folks. This one here likely is going to last for a long, long time because of its general nature and use and that durability. Of course, naturally aspirated engines just mean that it's gonna run a long time. Yeah, you have some great wheels and styling details are pretty interesting, somewhat bland. I mean, this is a long family type SUV. It's not meant for performance. It's certainly not meant as much for styling. We do have some great tail lights on this all wheel drive version as mentioned. And again, the Pilot specifically. Yeah, you have the great overhang, but it's not as aggressive. As you could tell, this vehicle is pretty much more of a long tube to maximize the space. And obviously you have some nice chrome detail along there. And the interior is going to wear very, very well as well. They also come with Honda sensing things, for example, like backup detection, adaptive cruise control, pedestrian warning. All those features are dialed into this vehicle. You have great technology, but amazing safety as well as reliability. It's Honda. They know how to build a reliable vehicle. Yeah, there's been a few misses. Talk about the new Honda Accord. There's been a few problems with the CVTs, but as it stands, the current generation, full-size, stout, solid chassis, this one is a beast and will guarantee to run at least 300,000 miles, the Honda Pilot. And another one that's guaranteed to run over 300,000 miles is this rig. Yeah, no joke. I'm in front of the right vehicle. Yeah, we're looking at a Lincoln because normally Ford products, ah, you know, they're great, they're innovative, they look cool, but sometimes the performance, reliability, long standing is not always there. But this one here, it is. This is literally rated to go a long time. And what do we have here? This is a Lincoln, obviously, full-size tank. This thing is absolutely massive. Yeah, you have 
great lighting all over. This is the Navigator, as mentioned. You do have these cool little handles, both end, and we just go and go and go and go and go. This thing is massive. And again, as I say, it's a Lincoln. You can tow a ton of weight with it, but it does have a third row is available with this vehicle. Lots of space back here, great rims. You have the drop down bottom rocker panel so you can help all the little people in your life jump up in there. Of course, beautiful mirrors and an interior that looks almost on par with a modern day Range Rover. But this does have a 10 speed automatic transmission, which makes it pretty robust. It's never using that slush box where there's no CVTs here, folks, but it's that three and a half liter V6 EcoBoost. That's right, it's that engine's been around for a while. At first, people were skeptical. They wanted normally aspirated, naturally aspirated engines. Ford kept pushing through. Their twin turbo V6s now are great engines. And this one here with the three and a half liter makes over 400 ponies and can crack off a blistering 5.3 second to zero to 60 mile per hour time it's fun frivolous and let's not forget average of 17 miles per gallon in the city and about 23 on the highway means you're going to average around 20 miles per gallon it's not particularly frugal unit but it certainly is cruising in the lap of luxury it's large and in charge it's competition with the likes of the bmw x7 as well as a cadillac escapade it's a great looking vehicle and because it is literally mounted on a truck chassis similar to what we're seeing over here on a pickup truck basically means it's just going to take the beach you can hit the rough roads that i-beam chassis means it's just going to just truck along you can beat it you can drive it hard it's going to go off road drive on the street and it's just going to last a long time 300,000 miles oh yeah and the next one there that is literally going to last over 300,000 miles but there comes with a caveat you've got to do care of the maintenance and the maintenance is not cheap with these vehicles and what we're looking at is a G-Wagon. You can get a couple different variations now. I mean, G-Wagon's been around for many, many years, but in the latest iterations, there's a couple options. I mean, you have a couple of V8 options. Right here, you have beautiful lights on this three-pointed star unit. Obviously, it's a gorgeous vehicle, but it is mounted on true off-road suspension. This is a true off-road machine, and the military's used this, and it can go literally almost anywhere that a Jeep can. Yeah, you have great trim that's robust, handles that are tough. Everything that's made on this vehicle is very robust. Yeah, you got the great alloy wheels, but I mean, you swap that out the steel and you're good to go. This is an AMG version, as you can see, three-pointed star. Nice. This is the G63. That means the latest version of this vehicle actually has a 575 horsepower V8 engine. The interior is absolutely gorgeous with quilted stitching and every amenity. You can also get the 550 version, which actually has a little bit less power, but it is the four liter twin turbo V8 and it just puts it down zero to 65.1 seconds. They're great but because they're built on such a sturdy platform, because they're running on a V8 engine, and if you do your maintenance, they are sure to last a long time. Remember, it's those little four cylinder engines that rev like hummingbirds that often have to work twice as hard. This engine, if you're not bagging it and you're taking care of the maintenance because of its chassis design and Mercedes legendary quality, that vehicle is gonna go at least 300,000 miles. And we have a Toyota Highlander here. Now things have changed in the Toyota front and if I can offer, there's a few caveats with this situation, but we do have a vehicle that's a three row vehicle. It's long, large and in charge and it's great for family hauling. Beautiful headlights, of course this is Toyota. As you can see, no blue logo, so this is not the hybrid, but we'll get to that. Beautiful details there and laser cut type wheels, LC500 type mirrors and of course we have this beautiful alloy trim up top to haul your bed bug infested mattresses over to the dumpster and look look at this nice highlander is what we have and this is the xle it's the all-wheel drive version and it's large and in charge it has some nice contours down here as you follow that line it's a beautiful all the way down the interior actually feels like it's punching above its weight class feels an awful lot like a toyota camry that we own but there's some things to note now most likely these cars are going to last far outside of 300,000 miles just because the history shows that but things have changed a little bit they've gone and gotten rid of that three and a half liter v6 that's naturally aspirated toyota has known and religiously grabbed onto because of its reliability that's gone so they've now replaced that with, we've got an automatic transmission here, but it's strapped to a 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine. Again, the jury's out whether that's going to be a reliable piece or not. The other option is a two and a half liter naturally aspirated four banger hybrid, but then you get a CVT transmission. So you sort of give with the CVT, you take with the auto, but then there's that turbo versus non. There's a couple different choices here. Either way, I believe you're going to have success. You're gonna have a vehicle that's gonna run many hundreds of thousands of miles with Toyota level of reputation and reliability. 
it's going to be a winner for at least 300K. And here's another one that's going to last you a long time, probably 300,000 miles or more, simply because this is basically on a pickup truck chassis like this, we know these can last a long time. There are some limits with certain engine configurations because this one here actually has a 5.3 liter V8 engine. And there's been some history a little bit with rocker lifter issues. There's also been some problems with the cylinder deactivation. But get past that and some of those nuances, those engines, those V8 engines are great workhorses. They're efficient, they perform well. And because this vehicle is literally on an I-beam or a U-beam type actual chassis design, basically got a couple of I-beams going through there and everything sits on top. It's just a rugged workhorse. It's not fancy, it's not unibody though, so it will literally take the beats. I mean, this thing is ginormous. You could literally create a gymnasium here, maybe a badminton center, possibly polo. Maybe you can even play some soccer back here. Maybe the uh, the Spanish and the English, when they want to take another round, they can play in the back here. This is lots of room there. Of course, you do have oversized wheels. Look at the massive one touch getting in. This is the SLT. The interior is full of mediocre grade plastics and wannabe leathers but you do have small mirrors and all kinds of great headlight finishing here on this GMC Yukon as I see right here which is the XL meaning it's the extra long version running boards for all the happy people and of course we can haul your junky project on the roof and it's just an overall workhorse vertical at the back means you can throw a lot of junk in here you could pretty much throw a couch or refrigerator or even a single wide mobile home will fit in the back of that thing but this will literally last forever, 300,000 miles plus. The Yukon XL. And another SUV that's going to last a long, long time, very similar to the GMC Yukon, as well as the Suburbans, and all those vehicles are built on the same platforms. We're looking at this big, beautiful black SUV parked right in front of me here. And yes, these will last a long, long time, but they do have different engines, and there's a few details here. Bigger wheels, because this is a Cadillac, it's gotta show off. It does have the running boards there, and look, chrome detail on the handles. Look around here, they have that nice vertical. You know this looks like a hearse, or it's heading off to bury somebody at the cemetery because it's an Escalade by Cadillac. And of course, yeah, you look down, it's a pickup truck. Nicer detailing, a little step up finishing from the old Yukon over there. And of course, the mirrors look pretty sharp. You always have your extra little bling on there. And the headlights kind of reflect what you're doing on the back end with the lighting. And look, this is big, bold, large, and in charge. But there's a difference. Under the hood, you get 10-speed automatic transmission, which is stall solid and sturdy. You still get that I-beam frame there, which holds this whole thing up and makes it very solid, long-lasting. It's not that soft unibody junk like you find with this Equinox trash can right there. And this instead has a 6.2 liter V8 engine under the hood instead of the measly 5.3 liter over found in the Yukon XL. This one brings up the power. You got much better performance, over 400 ponies, and you can go almost 700 ponies if you go up to the supercharged V version of this as well. There's lots of options for performance, for luxury, the Cadillac Escalade guaranteed to run a long time. With that said, there's a few nickel and dime issues, handles pulling off, infotainment system problems, lifter issues with that 6.2. Again, get past a few of those things, you're good to go. And so the next one is, well, no, it's not that one. No, it's not that one. Mm, no, it's not that one. It's Oh, it's this one right here. What do we have? Another Toyota product. Like, that's a shocker. But there's some differences here over some of the other ones that we've seen so far. This is an absolutely amazing vehicle. Yeah, we've got some aftermarket wheels because it looks like it's made to go off-road. This guy put some studded wheels on there. And look, solid Toyota and it's Toyota reliability, all packaged into this beautiful little package. Four liter V6 naturally aspirated and it makes 270 horsepower. Of course, down here you have that rugged little stepping boards there. And of course, beautiful little tail lights on this Forerunner, as we see right there. Squared off in the back, so you can haul a lot of junk in the trunk. Limited, so that means it's fairly loaded up. You have chrome detail here and lots of great finishing inside, although all the buttons are solid and easy to manage and they're very well wearing. This shouldn't be too much of a surprise. This also carries a five-speed automatic. That's right, five. In a world where everybody's talking nine and 10-speed autos, that's because those are highway gears, small shifting between. They're not made for being robust. They're just made for efficiency. This here, five big gears, count them, yeah. That's right. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And that makes this car, everything about it. Yeah, it drives like a truck. Yeah, it's wallowy. Yeah, it doesn't brake all that well. Yeah, it's heavy on fuel. Yeah, to all of the above. Yeah, it's 
feels a little outdated, sure. And the performance isn't spectacular, but that's why this is what it is. It's just a rugged workhorse, gets you around and literally will run to 300, 400, even 500,000 miles with almost no muss and no fuss. Just take care of some maintenance. This thing will literally run forever. The Toyota 4Runner, the best of the breed and good for half a million miles. And with all of that said, check that out. Hey, you're gonna love that. Vehicles that won't even make it 100,000 miles. Hope to see each and every one of you on the next one. We'll see you all real soon. Bye-bye.